Michael, Bonnie's calling. Yeah, I'm on my way. You got something for me, Bonnie? Yes, an ID on the driver of the car that attacked you. One Jonathan Tanko, 124 Industrial Way. Terrific. Get over here and fill in Mac and Atlanta while Kit and I check it out. All right, plot me the most direct course. Personnel scan. I want to know who I'm up against. No one. It's empty, Michael. The door's not even locked. This is an easy one. That's too easy. Could be a trap. All right, scan for chemical compounds now, will you? I'm picking up a high concentration of potassium nitrate, charcoal, and sulfur directly behind the door. English? Gunpowder. Gunpowder. All right. Let's open the door for me. <laughs> Going in, but let's button up first. Any more surprises? It looks clear. Looks like it was put together by a pro. Well, we know Tanko couldn't have done this. That's right, Michael, but who? Maybe somebody Tanko was working for. Who knows I'm still in one piece. <sighs> Maybe somebody Tanko was talking to. Scan this for impressions. In the last couple of notes, will ya? I can discern the name of F. Lorani, Michael. Does it mean anything to you? Sure does. Fredo Lurani, hitman extraordinaire. Kitty lives on a boat. He could be anywhere along the coast. Don't despair, Michael. I have what appears to be an address coming through. Slip 202, Bayshore M. That's got to be it, Bayshore Marina. Slip 202. Let's go. Will you bow? Right away, Michael. Bonnie. For you. Bonnie, we're gonna be cutting it close. The race is about to start. Michael, where are you? Just have the car ready. We got a fix on the killer. Kit and I are gonna take him out first. Good luck, Michael. Be careful. Bonnie, is he all right? Is he gonna make it here in time for the race? He'll be here, Elena, I promise. But the killer won't. Michael's on his way to nail him now. Thanks. I'll be ready for him if he shows. Very seaworthy, Michael. Mmm, good on land, too. The boat, Michael. Oh, yeah. Well, he's there, all right. Now, if that girl's anything to go on, pretty darn relaxed. Cover me, will you? Right behind you, Michael. Michael, there's been a disturbance in your vital signs. Lorani's escaping. Come in, please. Kid! I'm on my way. Kid! I see you, 
Michael. I need a hand. Give me the traveling hook. My thought exactly, Michael. Of the race. Ten minutes, Michael, but you need to rest. You swallowed a lot of water. <coughs> yeah, give me 80% oxygen plus 20 PSI. Oh, I guess this is the place I have to pay to identify the killer. Thanks. All right, notify the authorities to pick up the Ronnie. He's probably headed for the airport. Let's go into super pursuit mode. We're out of here. <laughs> Gentlemen, welcome to the 20th annual running of the Coast 500. We're blessed with a beautiful day out here today with the temperatures in the 70s. Lorani was warned. He knew I was coming. Yes, but by who? Anyone who overheard our call to Bonnie. Steve Cochran? No, he's too small a man for that big a hate. Elena and Bonnie, they sure aren't suspects. Might as well get out there. Come on. Give me a rundown on Mac Thomas's insurance policies. He has $500,000 coverage on the assets of Thomas Racing. No kidding. That's a lot more than he's got tied up in his team. All right, fraud puts him on our list. Next, Wayne Outfield. If Mac's team is replaced by Outfield as top dog, What's he stand to lose? Conservatively, about $800,000 a year, Michael. But his total earnings are many times that. He can afford the loss easily. And he is Mac's best friend. Not much to go on, is it? All right, close up. <laughs> Night Rider.